Hello everyone, welcome to another video of VBA Advanced. In this video, we are going to talk about how to select a printer and how to keep an eye which is the default printer. So let's get started. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So these are the commands that are going to help us today. Uh, the first one is application.active printer. Then we will talk about in spring. INSTR, this is in string, and the left and right functions of Microsoft Excel can do have their place in VBA also. And then we will talk about application dot send keys. So this is just like control P, and these keys can be uh, used in with the command application dot send keys. So let's get started and open our workbook. So I have this setup ready for you and I have a, a, a custom function but before going to custom function let's try to understand the this function application dot active printer. So if I have a new module and if I say sub test MSG box and let's have this application dot active here it is printer and let's run this code. This is my active printer right now whatever it is okay you can see yes you can see so if i go back and say control p and change my printer to let's say microsoft xps document writer and go back and now run this macro where is our test macro this run, run this so you can see now it is microsoft xps document writer on whatever so this is the port uh, and this is the printer name. This is the printer name followed by on, on and then this is the port on which this is connected. So many times what we need to do is we want to see before sending a print to macros what is our default printer right now. So this command will help us to know what is the default printer so if we go back to module 1 and you can see this is the function i have created the def printer nothing fancy application dot volatile calculate every time she calculates okay this is application dot active printer as i used in the macro this is saved in a variable v at ptr and then i have used uh, in str so let's pr try to understand what is this in str so let's go to our module 2 and let's have another macro set test 1 this time and say msg box in str starting from first character and let's say let's say this is sony samsung apple and what i want to search and this is because this is string this has to be in inverted commas so if i say find me apple so if i run this there is an error and what is that we are missing a bracket Okay, good to go. Let's run this. So you can see the answer is 14. What is this 14? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the, this is the 14 is the 14th character or the character place from the left from where uh, apple is found the word apple is found within this text all right so in str is a just like a find function of microsoft excel it will find a text within a text and let you know the, the 
location of uh, the character location, the first character location of that text. So what I am going to do, uh, I am trying to do in this command is I am trying to find on. Why? Because when I run this active printer command, you can see this is the printer name and then we have this on and then this is the port. So I just want to have the printer name. I don't want to have this on and the port. So what I am trying to do over here is I have got my printer name and the port. I am I have located where is on and then with the left command I have picked up what is on the left side of the printer. So and if I look at the second command, the left is picking on from the left side of the on and from the right. So if I, I want to have maximum 31 characters, let's ignore this line. And then we know that the function name has to come once on the left side of the is equal sign so that it can store a value. So a value is stored, which is the active printer name, and that's end function. And if we go to uh, cell B2, we have this function and we know what is our default printer but then there is an issue if i go to and go and change my printer so let's say one node and go back still we have this old value if i say 2 plus 2 then this is updated so every time there is a change i need to run the calculation so this is important that uh, every time uh, you change the printer, you need to run the calculation for this function to work. So one thing is, uh, you can see I have this macro which is saying calculate, this will run the calculation. And instead of every time uh, doing this control P and going there, I have a macro. Uh, if I click on this, so I, will go, so I will go to this screen. So what this macro does, you can see this is application dot send keys. This is this symbol is representing the control key, and this is the P. So I am sending the control P like just uh, I use this control P here. So I am sending the keys, the keyboard keys, to the computer, and my computer will act according to those shortcut keys. So if you have um, a macro shortcut key or if you want to see do the control C and if you want to do the control P, that can also be done through send key, keys command. This is very important and this comes handy. Uh, so uh, this is very simple. You can, uh, you can do Google and see how to send Alt P, Shift Alt P and stuff like that. So this send keys is a good tool good function of VBA that uh, helps you out in quickly creating a command if you don't know uh, the command or you are unable to find the command but you know the shortcut key. So this was a quick video on the printer on how to change the default printer and how to know what is your default printer. I hope this will be helpful. And if you like the tips, uh, think about giving this video a thumbs up.